You know, I don't know. It feels like <laughs> you walk out the house and you just get smothered. <laughs> Slapped in the face with it. It just literally takes your breath away. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh it's hot already. Oh man, it is really hot. Go, oh, man. So, we figured out that lumber has literally doubled in price yeah. since the same time last year. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Uh. Yeah, dear. Wait a minute. I'm scratching. I got either bit by a fire ant. Or a flea. Uh, it could be either or, yeah. And, uh, <sighs> lumber's gonna. You, uh, I don't know what they call it, a cord or whatever, that you used to be able to buy that from $750. This year it'll cost you $1,500. And it's just a trickle down effect of like everything else is. Yep. And, uh, you know. <clears throat> And according to Mr. Bu uh, Buffett, we're heading for hyperinflation. Oh, yeah. I personally yeah. think we're there. It's the, just insane. The, the funny thing is, uh, he, the thing is, you, you're not so much even listening to what they say, it's watching what they do with their finances. Hey, you know your barn door is open. My barn door Here, give me the dog. I got it. Okay, okay. Well, it, oh, I you got it. Oh, it, you can do it with one hand. I did the book, the book. Really? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, so you just watch what they're doing, you know, the finances oh. stuff. I mean, the people. The thing is, so what happening is, if you're smart, for the most part, people are kind of, uh, uh, you know, somewhat educated. You see prices going up. You know that certain things are going to be in short demand, so you're buying now. Right. Which is driving the price up. Yeah. And it will continue to do that. And the lower the, le the lower our supply is, the higher the prices are going to go up. Absolutely. Is, you know, creating that. Well, inflation. the inflation is one thing, but the record violence. I mean, you people thought when you elected Biden that you weren't going to have the violence. No, it's increased. It is a multiplier of 300 in some cities. This is just berserk. It's bad. And then, you know, well, all of a sudden you'll have people, uh, the other thing is that they're talking about uh, uh, the valuation of the American dollar to zero, which would be catastrophic for this, this country. Yes. That means our money is worth nothing to anybody. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know how it is in the big cities. I mean, you know, y'all are busy killing each other and shit. <laughs> Probably too busy to notice the price of things, yeah, right? I, I mean, but man, here where we're living, it's insanity. Yeah. I mean, and it's stupid things too. You'll go to the store and you can't get this, and then you can't get that, and then a few weeks later you find out why you couldn't get it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, you guys in your pandemic have destroyed this country. It was a trickle down effect, really. Yeah. And they started uh, panicking about the COVID and closing factories. Well, oh, yeah. You couldn't get certain things, which is, you know, because there was no production of them. And then once you, that passed, now you have backlog of production, backlog of, of demand. And now we're in a global crop process where people where we're fighting with uh, you know China. We closed war. We closed borders. We did all this stuff. Now I don't know when that's gonna get resolved. Yeah. So just hang on. Well, you know. it's all crazy. We, can do, we just can hang on tight. And I mean, and l let me tell you something. You know, and it's just my opinion. This is what happens when you listen to porn stars that live in Hollywood. These are nasty people. This is what happens when you listen to the mainstream media. They've been lying for years. 
when they say the liberal press. That's not true. These people outright lie to you anymore, all right? And you think they're your trusted friends because you watch them all the time. They're in your living room 24-7 now with cable TV. No, they did this to you, all right? Don't forget that. What's coming? They did this to you. Wow, look at this bed. Yeah. Something attacked our corn, too. Boy, look at that. Yeah, weather. Yeah, it rained really crazy yesterday. Yep. Oh. Oh, yeah. The broccoli's actually looking okay. Yeah. The kohlrabi is the one that's not there. Kohlrabi took a beating. Yeah. We might uh. have to come and, uh... Yeah. Kohlrabi back and leave the broccoli bed. We're getting broccoli yep. bed. And, uh, yes, the corn, uh, they did. not there. Yeah. Uh, wow. Look at that. That's crazy. Wow, uh, look, honey. Uh, Something really messed it up. Something? I don't know what was that. Maybe that's what the dog was all upset about. She had, I don't know, that's not an animal. I just think it's, uh... No, it's just in the sections. Yeah. Wow. came and knocked it over. Wow, I don't know what that was about. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. Do you see prints or anything? No, I don't see anything. Nobody walked out there, not man nor animal, because there's no footprints. That was tall, nice and tall corn. Wow. Huh. Well, I'm a little baffled. Yes, dear? Hmm. Well, at least the peppers are okay. Yeah, nothing stepped on that. I don't know what that was about. Uh, well. Well, that's weird. Okay. Oh, look, what happened to the beans? Oh, yeah, we picked them yesterday. <laughs> uh, we worked hard yesterday morning. Y'all would have been impressed. Yeah. Because we knew, oh, Jesus, Fanny that this was uh, going to happen again. I think we're done, though, for a few days. Uh, well, I don't know. My telephone don't say so. I hope so. I shall believe it when I seize it. Well, the tomatillos, uh, oh my God, look at this. Wow. Literally, I'm not joking. This is, I've seen weird this year, but oh, never this look, bad. Got knocked out I know. Oh man, I can't do nothing about it right now. Uh-uh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, well, we, sweetheart, we were in the car when it was oh, raining. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, sometimes, my dear, I don't know, you, honey. you act like a liberal sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get a divorce just from that. Kind oh, of yeah, thing. right. Oh, my gosh, look at this. Even the high points in the yard are flooded. So, we're trying to figure out. We got, we got this much to figure out, okay? We're supposed to have the rain, the, the in ground spray bed, right? Like we got. But we're trying to figure out a cheaper way to, a cheaper, a cheap, what is wrong with her? Young lady. All right, anyways, listen. <laughs> okay, sorry. We're trying to figure out a cheap way to line them so <sighs> that we can prevent erosion. So I'll show you. What Ordinarily, I would just get 12 by. Come yeah. in here and line the beds. Yeah, line them up real easy. No Unfortunately problem. now, only rich people can afford lumber. Yeah, because this is what, 30 feet, right? Yeah, they're 35 feet. And that's just the length of them. And then, you know, you got the width of them. Some are 15. Most of them are six. But uh, yeah, oh my gosh. So like this one's still in pretty good shape because it's very heavily planted. This was the last one so, that I did, yeah, yes. It's not very eroded, but the ones where I only have like tomatoes on them. Yes. Right? See how the level is starting to get low on this yes. side. Yes. So. Who thought that was a good idea? So we need to line them up somehow. Yeah. And then, you Oof. know, I don't know what would be the cheapest thing to do. Oh, uh, now I'm going to have to go look. I, I really hate going to the lumber store anymore, the yeah, Home Depot. Like it on. really upsets me these days. So. I hey, mean, it's so just. This year. Look at this bed. It's almost gone. Yeah, and we was, they were all pretty high. This, look at this guy. 
Yeah, they're, they're almost they're gone. They're almost gone. They have, which also means that we've been losing our compost. Yeah, you know it's I mean? flowing out in the street. Yeah, yeah. I, I took that little video yesterday, the river flowing down oh, there no. by the house. That's just crazy. So, I don't know. A wood would be nice, and it'll have to wait until all of this is yeah, done. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of that, and we can even get in here with a tiller oh. and do all this thing. But I got to tell you but one thing. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. It's, it's, if it hadn't ra rained this biblically, epically, like that, we would have never known that we might have an issue here. Absolutely. And then, next year, when we really want to put up a lot of stuff out here, we'd be really yeah. surprised and shocked to find out that, holy moly, we lost everything because... But, let me tell you back, something. So. This <coughs> is not a setback. This, for no. me, is a learning experience. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's just work. It's just work. But, but just, um, we just this, have to figure out yeah. economically how to do it. Wait, right, stop yeah. walking. I can't keep the camera oh, on you sorry. when you're walking. Bobby, yo, assistant. stop, young lady. Any house. Oh, hello, Samuel. Hey, Sam, Sam. How's you doing, man? How's it hanging, buddy? It's just it's wet out here. Hey, it's wet. But uh, that cat was in the house all day yesterday beating the dog up. That's yeah, funny. Anyway, though, in all seriousness, and I mean, I am being in all seriousness, people. This problem, we will figure out. Yeah. This is not going to deter us. We are going to figure this out, Absolutely. and we are going to grow food, and we are going to keep giving it away like we're doing. But I do have some very sound advice for you. We are hidden to hyperinflation. The U.S. dollar will be downgraded within the next three months and that's just a fact it's it's coming if you can afford to buy it now i don't care how expensive it is you better buy it if you're planning on putting a room on your house you need to buy the lumber now throw it under a tarp till you're ready to use it i don't care if simple things like magnifying glasses both me and my wife use these things to see uh yeah if you can afford to buy them, stock up on them. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what it is, you need to stock up on it. You need to have rice, beans. You need to have that stuff in the house because it's going to come the time really quick when you go to the grocery store, you're just going to be able to buy a few things to put on the table. And it will be just like before. It will be rationed. So, yeah, I mean, I hate to harp on y'all, but I'm telling you right now, I mean, yeah, we all know whose fault it is, but let's get over Obliden. Y'all did this. Now we're going to all have to live with it. So, yeah, you need to, if you can afford to buy it, buy it. You can't buy a new car, so make do with what you got because they're not out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's every day they get worse and worse. It's just, look, put your, okay, look. Put your trust in God, okay? Yes. The, do that, first and foremost. Have him, he will take care of us, but he, you know, he's not gonna miraculously come down and give you the food or give us the food and give us this. He's putting you in a place, he puts us in a place that we can do it. Yes. That we can take care of it ourselves. And uh, you can either heed the warning. Got it. You can either heed the warning and heed the, the message, uh, or or not. Yeah. You know. So up, up Europe, up yeah. But that's my advice. I'm serious. Uh, if whatever you think you're gonna need for the next two years, if you can afford to buy it, do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, I'm telling you what. There ain't no person on the world in this world I dislike more than Kamala Harris. But I gotta tell you, y'all need to get Biden out of there. Put that crazy lady in there. We all know she's uh, a Jezebel. Cause I can remember when she was Montel Williams, side chick walking around with her boobs out on the red carpet. But still, if she's gotta be better than him. Wow. You would think, huh? I hope. I can't see how anybody can do worse, honey. Are we ever going to be able to get in there and get the rest of them taters? Well, unless you want mud. No. Okay, then we'll uh, But our beans are doing just fine. Yeah, this is a good, good uh. egg. 
It's still getting eroded, as you can tell. Oh, yeah, even these things are. I need to come out here and, uh, well, I can't now because we have crops in there. Although, this one here is doing, of the beds, probably really good. This one here is doing good because we still have so much crops That's in it. That's another thing. If you plant it really thickly, it won't erode. I've noticed that. Yeah. It's, just, it's not great, and it's not great for our circulation and all that. that what is helping right now is that it's, it is warm, but it's not hasn't been blazing hot. No, it's just humid, right? And then my hollyhocks are suffering, so I might have to pull them out, even though I'm really looking forward to No, the growth in the middle is coming out good. I might have to come trim down all that. Yeah. All oh. that stuff. All the dead leaves oh. and everything. Yes, dear. Maybe leave that. Well. Anyways, we got up this. peppers. Yes. And look at this feller, huh? Oh, look at the bees. Yeah, look at the bees. That's a wasp. Uh, look at the wasp. So what? Uh, wasps do the no, same no, thing. No, 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 but look, you got blooms, honey. What the I heck? got blooms. I might I get lemons. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. How's that song go? Lemon tree, you're so pretty. Yes, I have one. But don't let all this doom and gloom. Yeah, no take, doom and take, gloom. Take your joy away, okay? Right. You know? I mean, just think you about got, it. You got to stop. start every day with a lot with gratitude for everything. Absolutely. Which is what we do. You know, you start with the day saying how grateful you are for everything you have. Absolutely. Because we do have a lot more than other countries. We're in a lot better shape than other countries, than other, than other people. And but so. the powers that be are doing their best to ruin that. Well, I mean, oh my God. I, I am like, this guy has done more executive orders in a hundred, well, let's not even, in a hundred days than Trump did in his entire four years. He did more executive orders in a hundred days than uh, was Ob or Obama did in eight years. This is insanity. You have a dictator in Washington who just voted, or the, sorry, the House just voted for another $1.9 billion to fund his private army. Oh my God, people. It's all about, uh, you know, I tell the kids, and you know, we talk about it a lot. It's just, just we're called to live a simple life. Well, there's one of them nasty skeeters. The ones with the white stripes, oh, they They're bite mean. you, you get a welt. So, <sighs> live, live simply. Yeah. Can you do that? Is that possible? I mean, think about what you could eliminate. What, I gotta tell you the one thing that we eliminated in our lives that made our lives that much simpler is television. Television, yes. Get Hollywood and get the libtard news out of your living room. Now you'd be surprised how quick your mind. The, the, <laughs> the pastor that came the other day by the house. He oh had, yeah, they were nice. Fan, very nice, had a funny analogy. He said uh, his kids were in the living room and this couple was in the living room with them and they started undressing each other and going at it with each other and the, the dad went to the, the kitchen, the, went to the bedroom and grabbed the shotgun and he was getting ready to shoot those two people and then mom came in the room and turned the television off. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, when, yeah, TV gives you bad morals. I mean, these yes, people are yes, nasty. Yes, yes. Absolutely disgusting human beings. And the media is the same thing. It's so funny. I saw this little video clip, Channel 5 News. I know these people. They're libtards from way back, right? The reporter is standing down on the street, right? And this lady confronts her. And I know the reporter, too. I did a termite job on her house back in the day. Her husband's a nice guy, but uh, yeah, she all of a sudden she puts a mask on, right? And they're doing their story about how important the masks are and the lady confronts her and she says, why did you just put the mask on? Your cameraman's not wearing a mask. You weren't wearing a mask. And another guy walks up, says, yeah, I know. I got pictures of her. And she says, just leave me alone. I'm just trying to do my job. Just remember how well trying to do your job worked at Nuremberg because there's no difference between what happened in Germany in 1936 than what's happening here in America. All right? The Nazis believe they had God on their side too. Well, think about it. At the end, in the end, and whenever you're getting ready to do something, and it's not a something that might come naturally, but in would, if you were to tell, be in front of God and we're going to do yes. whatever it is you're fixing to do and presented it to him. 
What's that old Would saying? Would you be able to uh, justify yeah. that act, whatever right. that is? And look, don't take answer? our word for it. Just use your head, shut your TV off, and start looking on the internet. It's even harder now because Google censored things. We're trying to be, yes. they're trying to keep us entertained, so we're not right. looking. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're busy binge watching a TV show, or binge, binge, watching, binge watching this and that, and if you're busy watching television and checking out at the end of the day because you're tired and you had a lot to do and all of that, and, and you know, I can't say that I blame you because we've been there. Yep. If you're so, you at the end of the day, you're checking out completely and not really paying attention to the world, then you, not only are you missing out what's going on in the world, which really you can't do anything about, but what else are you missing out in your life? Yeah. Your here's, kids, uh, your here, family. Yeah, everything, right? But here, here's a quick one. Don't take our word for it. What I want you to do is just go over there to your uh, computer screen, right? And you look at every democratic city and you look at the crime rate. You look at these, what do they call them? Something free zones now? Mm -hmm. You look at this stuff. You look at the murder rate and then you look at who's doing this. Mm -hmm. All right. You then go to Republican cities, go to smaller towns and you look at the violence and the protests and you're not going to find it. Are you kidding me? I mean, you only get that stuff in Democratic controlled cities. They're throwing fear and violence down your throat and they're trying to blame it on people who live out here in the country who don't even care about you. I don't care what you do in your bedroom. Yeah, anyway. Right. We talked. Yes, and we're never going to publish this video. <laughs> I might stick it on our channel, but yeah, I mean, we just, it, it's just crazy. We're really upset because we can see where the economy is going. All right? Well, I'm not necessarily upset. I'm, I'm, well, uh, I'm philosophical. Concerned. I'm concerned because, uh, you know, I, we all have families. Oh, yes. And, uh, you know. We love them, all of our families. And, and you try to help your family family. nowadays. I mean, it's like, They're holy cow. Family. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyways, all right. Bye we bye. got things to do. Good night. Bye-bye. Oh. Whoa. Let me think we're... Da, 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 I maybe. So. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Ready? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm always ready. Uh, we're probably not even filming my head. All right. Closing thoughts. <laughs> As you can see, me and my wife, we, yeah, we all both have our own opinions on all kinds of stuff. And that's what makes this work, because we can discuss it. Sometimes she tell me, she says, you know, you're just being stupid. Sometimes I tell her that, hey, you know what? You're being stupid. Then I get to sleep on the porch. But anyway, hey, that was good. That was good. That, yeah. Anyway, Very yeah. Clever. But Not I'm clever. just saying people wake up, all right? Um, we are under assault, and that includes both sides, both liberal and uh, conservatives. We're under attack. These people are trying to do away with the Bill of Rights. Now, y'all need to understand what's in the Bill of Rights. Women's rights are in there. Uh, you know, what do they call the uh, yeah, that, that. civil rights, all of that. The Second Amendment is in the Constitution for a reason. The Second Amendment protects the First Amendment. Now, all you college kids that got indoctrinated, shame on you. You're in college. It's a higher place of learning, okay? You're supposed to listen to both sides. You're supposed to have a cup of coffee and discuss it. We are not listening to that. We're living in a time of censorship, hate speech. Shut up, all right? Grow up. We are in a time right now where girls think it's perfectly okay, and I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you know, you make the final decision, but a girl thinks that it's perfectly okay to murder a child to make her life miserable. Easier. Easier, right, yes. not miserable. Yeah, well, it does make my life miserable when you do it. It you breaks my heart. Her, yeah. Yeah. Okay, my dear. That's it, you know, you said it all, it's true. Huh, I make said it all this time? Yes, Change you make your choices. Yes. Be informed. Be informed. Right. Make your mind, yeah, before you jump on the bandwagon for anything, for God's sakes, do a little research, you know? It's like I saw this, uh, there was some, I guess it was gay people that had this sign with the rainbow flag, right? And they were saying, uh, queers for Palestine. Do a little research, please. 
Because if you're gay and you're in Palestinian-held territory, they tie you up and throw you off the freaking rooftops. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Please look it up. Stop jumping on the bandwagon for every cause or every perceived wrong. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, people. Bye-bye. Ta-ta for now. Yeah, ta-ta for now. <laughs>